What is up, you great people around the world? Today, Aspa released their new song with Savage, and I'm super curious to find out how they did with making this video. As we saw with the last time with their song Next Level, I thought it was good, but it was nothing impressive. And I'm really curious if they picked up their game from last time and did a better job with the entire team. I really just hope that some of the CGI is better, but that is normally something that is really expensive. So for now, that is only a big wish, but maybe they picked it up in this MV. Before we start with this MV, like the normal ritual, there are two things that I request from you. If you have any recommendations on videos you want me to review in the near future and you want me to check them out then just put them in the comments below it can be aespa it can be any k-pop video and better off i'm actually looking for the worst mv out there in a world scale so if you know anything from your country Put it down below as well and of course guys if you do want to support this channel because we're so close to 2000 subscribers i'm really excited then just make sure you hit that like button make sure you're subscribed and let's make this community grow let's not waste any more time and let's jump into savage with Aespa. i have not seen the video yet so it's all going to be fresh to me i am really curious how they picked up and uh, yeah like always guys if i do pause a lot that is even better the more we can talk about the better always it's just something we do in the channel. Oh, we're going back to CGI oh world. Gosh. Really cool from what we see already. I love the props in this world. I mean, we can more or less see that they are in a green screen room. In other words, it could be a blue screen. It could be a green screen. They could just change the colors around. I cannot say what the original color is here, but you can more or less see that some of the props that we see here are real mixed with some CGI, including this snake and of course this plant and maybe some of the dirt in the background, but it looks great. Oh Much God. better than what we saw before, Don't actually. You know I'm a savage? I'm a killer, beautiful color palettes i love that the color temperature is a bit more colder here and the whites are a little bit just colder it's it's a very nice white i love this type of white and on top of that because of the darker colors that green that neon green or i don't know poison green i don't know what kind of green this is but uh, it looks fantastic it really just pops out and looks beautiful and on top of that you can also just see that the lights really are well placed here the entire set is just beautifully made great like literally because of the colors and the darker colors these colors that pop for example here the blue they just look great they look really really nice nice that's a very nice camera movement just look how it just follows that hand movement just let's watch that one more time okay let's be slow about it beautiful that is skill i don't know if this was handled or if they actually edit this in post but for what it is it is beautiful to look at in the last video you guys already explained to me that this is their theme this is the way they do their music videos they basically have a a 3D rendering of themselves being part of the video. I didn't understand the concept back then, but I'm already curious about why they have it only up to this degree of 3D rendering. Is this the budget they had? Is this the style they went to? If you guys know when or how they made these videos or not the videos, how they made these animations and how they came up with the style, if there's anything about that, put it in the comments below. I would love to know more about creating this concept of these 3D animations. It's very interesting actually. Wow. Let's watch this one more time, guys. I see this effect many times, but it's basically simple cloning. You see the same girl being filmed multiple times. You got the robot arm carrying the camera, and it's just repeating its movements over multiple times with her standing in different locations. In other words, one time she's standing here, the other time she's sitting here, and the other time she's actually standing here. And at the end, you can nicely blend it all together. Really good though. Really, really nice. I love that circle in the background as well and that it basically continues more into the back because it just extends the entire scene. I'm not sure if this is real because we also see some reflections here on the floor. So it could be that the first one is real and maybe they are all real, but I need to see the making of this video actually to see actually what happens. <laughs> really nice like i said the colors are beautiful here they're very mysterious i love that you have that neon 
yellow here and that neon green just popping out and it looks really really good the snake also looks really nice some 3d smoke effects ghost effects i forgot the term for it but it doesn't even matter really nice cuts as well Oh, that's amazing. So I love the choreography already, okay? It looks great. But what I love about it is because the girls are very low as well. The camera also dropped a little bit. And it really seems as if you're looking at this from a ground perspective. It makes the entire choreography look so much better. Really nice. You can basically see, let me show it. It's basically a little bit on this level. It's really trying to capture those knee movements. Really nice. Actually, I didn't see it, but there you see that t -t -t -t. I didn't even know that this was supposed to be this sound effect. Well, that is a real good way of capturing this element. It looks great. Really creative. Also very nice that they kept making sure that the color palette is repetitive throughout the entire scene. So here we have this pink, dark bluish color and the dark blue fits with here. And that pink actually fits with one of the scenes that we're gonna see, yeah, that we already saw a little bit before, but we see it again here. Looks really, really good that they make sure that the colors are repeating themselves over and over again. Awesome. I love that the lasers here are real and not CGI. In some MVs, we already saw that the lasers are fake. I don't like that. I'm not a big fan of it, especially because it's such a simple tool to actually make real. A bit of smoke, a laser machine, choose your color of liking, and there you go. They should not add fake lights to it. It just looks terrible. Real lights have a different way of showing the light. And here, yeah, this is just much better. Do it like this. Practical effects always win. Again, very impressive shot here. On top of that, before we go to that, I'm wondering if these are somehow protective glasses because, hey, lasers are still dangerous, guys. You can literally lose your eyesight even with a simple laser like this if it hits your eye. But I'm really just curious if these kind of glasses exist in a fashion world. Maybe that's a market. This is what I wanted to look at. So... We have this one shot where we're looking at one of the members. It's really just focusing on her. And then the camera slowly moved backwards. And then you can see that it's basically going through their fingers. I mean, that is so creative. I've never seen it like this. And the most impressive part is, is that it's all just one shot. Really good job. In one take, that looks really good. Again, you can see that there's again this robot arm moving around here. It's just moving way too fast compared to a human. I might be completely wrong though. I would have to see the making of, but if this is a robotic arm, I have to say is, hey, it's a new technique. A lot of K-pop videos are using it, so why not? I think there's a big market out for them for using these motorized arms for camera holders, but uh, it's a new era. New techniques will come in and we all have to get used to it. They're just really, really expensive. I think the starting price is around $650,000. That's a lot of money. <laughs> GG to the iPhone. That phone is broken. I love that again this is now we're going to a few more hand movements with the camera work but I love that the camera is actually dropping its space a little bit to pick up the members that are lower good good job here it's just making sure that it always picks up all of the group members in a good shot really really good really impressive this entire video so far nice color change in the eyes does it actually hurt to wear contact lenses, guys? If you know, tell me in the comments as well. I'm really curious because I might want to buy some for Halloween, but I'm scared that it actually hurts. Beautiful neon colors, by the way. 
The one thing I want to say as well about the set, we're going from basically a darker blue set to a very bright pink set. However, the colors are still very matching. Again, having a good color palette can make a difference in how good one set looks compared to the other. If you have very weird colors and they don't match and you base these sets on these colors, they're going to be really awkward to look at. This is very unique, it's special and it's refreshing. Did she just hit a bullet? Wait, did she just hit a bullet? That is cool. I have never seen that in any video about someone punching a bullet. That's some great animation there. Looks good. You see how the camera is following their heads? Splendid. Really good. So you might be asking, how do they get the choreography into these 3D models on the site here? I'm really curious about it myself, how they record it, but this is most likely well, choreographers or the members themselves are actually wearing these suits where they can track the movements of the dancers. And by that, they add the well, 3D renderings on top of that. I don't know if this is the real way how they did it, but... I can only imagine how they did it because it just seems too human like the way they're moving. So this is not something that they programmed them to do in software. This is actually amazing. Again, it looks really cool. Really cool. Yeah, you can literally see it on this shot that this girl is already spinning a bit quicker than this one. I'm not even looking at this, but it really just shows that there are most likely four people dancing here with them, but they're cut out and they have the animations put on top of these members. It is really high tech. Really cool. Yeah, Wait, 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 what? Did they blow all their budget on this? Like, you know this is CGI, but it looks so good. It will be so cool if they all of a sudden change their older models to this. Could this be a reveal to their new models? At least it shows the potential of what they can do. This is so cool. Now it's going back to some 2D animations. It really just shows a bit of a perspective from the older type of animation. This reminds me a little bit of Wings Club animations. While now we're looking at Battle Alilia, whatever that movie was called. I forgot that movie name, but these high-end 3D renderings. I love this perspective. Really nice. Really cool. This makes me feel very nostalgic somehow. If you think about the song as well, it's also very unique. It keeps on building up more and more and more, which I like. I like when storytelling is good. And in this case, it's fantastic. If I have to compare this, for example, to the song Sticker, this is a lot better. It just has a much better build up. And I hope there's going to be a big thing at the end as well. Like a big reveal or something. I just want to stop there again. You know, the CGI, they use a lot of it in this video, okay? But what I think is very funny about it is that some of the CGI looks good, some of it looks terrible, and then you have this, which is mediocre. It's very interesting what these CGI artists are doing with this video. There is just no consistency, but it's also a unique style. You know, it's something that grew on top of me more, and I like that. I mean, look at this CGI. It is just the worst that you can see. It just looks cheap. It looks terrible. Yeah, it's not good. But uh, that's what they went with. And that's what we see as a final production. And it's just hilarious to me to see how they actually left this in the video. I'm curious if it would have been better if they just left it out. 
very interesting. So yeah, guys, that has Savage. And I just want to say that from a video's point of view, it's a very, very good video. It's unique. It's much better than Next Level. And it's a video that I enjoy. It has so many aspects that I'm like, wow, they really, really improved compared to their last video. It's an amazing video now. And from all the work that I see, they really just picked up from what they had and went Next Level with it. What I can see a lot here is that they really just enjoy adding all these crazy effects to their video. And I know this is their theme. It's something that I'm more lighthearted to right now compared to next level. But understanding their theme, their topic a little bit more, it just makes me go like, damn, they really go out of the way to make sure that this video is unique, that it's just special to look at, that it has its own unique flavor and no one is going to copy it. And I'll be honest, from all the videos that I looked at right now, this is really unique. I've never seen anything like this in any type of video globally. If I have to talk about the camera work, if I have to talk about the editing, it's really on point. The cuts are beautiful, easy to follow. We have enough time to really analyze every shot that is taken. It's nice and slow. It takes its time to really develop itself into a better video. And it doesn't really randomly cut around from one place to the other place, which might give you a headache. Just imagine if they went from that blue area to the pink area, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You would really get a headache because it's going from bright to dark, bright to dark. But here they did it cleverly. They first had a startup with the dark blue and then they basically went back to the dark blue and the green area. It developed itself. Hats up. But yeah, guys, now the big question is, what do you actually think of Savage by Iaspa? Do you like the MV? Do you not like the MV? Do you like the song? Do you not like the song? Tell me down in the comments below. I would love to hear your comments as well. And on top of that, if you notice anything that I have not noticed, then just leave it in the comments below. That's the best way for me to as well learn. And I will also go back to it to see if it is something interesting or not. And of course, course guys thank you very much for watching and if you did enjoy the video like always make sure you hit the like button make sure you're subscribed and of course if you haven't yet make sure to put your recommendations down below on what a video you want me to review next because hey i read all your comments and i really really enjoy see all your recommendations so i'll catch you on the next video and i'll catch you then Mwah.